Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Cheers. We're going to dig right on in to this right here. Ultimate bag of fails, failure items, things that didn't work. We're going to talk about it all. It's almost like a grab bag because honestly, you guys, when I moved, I had the mindset of wanting to throw a lot away. And then I was like, hold up, let's do a fails video. Once the studio is set up enough and we give it a little breathing room because a few of you guys have mentioned <laughs> that you don't like the fails videos as much. And we're more in a avenue of positivity, which I can get on board with. But also I think to be fair, I do like to mix in occasionally, especially when I have a big bag of them, the items that just in the beauty sphere did not work out. I'm very pleased with myself. I started making coffee frappes at home. It is quite possibly the most satisfying treat ever that I have made healthy. I have not had Starbucks now in since the 4th of July. This is like a whole new thing for me because I admit you guys, I was like a Starbucks addict like every day. And now I'm doing smoothies at home, coffee at home, make my food at home and it's just so much better. Oh my gosh. Who has a good like coffee recipe? Leave it in the comments. Let's help each other out. I always feel like I should share what I'm drinking. This is so good. I want to tell you something scandalous about it. I put raw egg in my smoothies. Now you have to get the quality egg, get local, get organic, non-GMO, um, good yolks. But I have really upped my protein intake and even in coffees at home and it's working. I'm getting stronger. I'm lifting heavier. It's a whole thing. I am documenting a little bit of my fitness journey. So I'm finally crossed that threshold, adding more protein into my diet to finally be gaining weight. Cause I was too skinny in my opinion for me. I was like too skinny and nothing was like putting the meat on me and I've made some significant changes and I feel like everything beauty wise changed too when I made these changes. So let me know if you guys are into that. If you want more of an in-depth like full uh, meal deal, no pun intended, of really big changes I've made in the past, I would say three months with my diet because man, did I go like 360 rough and wild, like just change everything and it's working. Okay, so we're gonna just dig on in. I don't even really remember what's in here. Do we organize it or do we just like, just dunk? I think we just dunkaroni. Let's go in here. What do we have up first that did not work? This is from Tarte. This is the Tarte C Power Flex Light Sand. Nothing like shape tape. I had high hope for it, but do you know what this did? This legitimately got gummy, patchy, was uneven. And then when I went in with a beauty blender, which is one of my preferred ways to blend out concealer, it was like picking up on the beauty blender and then redistributing. So some area would have like a double layer that was kind of gummy. And I just cannot have that. And I am shocked, I have to say, because Tarte has had one of the best and most loved concealers online. Like everybody loves shape tape. And even if you don't love it, you've been mesmerized by other people's love for it that you've probably been curious to try it. So it's just interesting to me that Tarte has such a great one. And then this just did not work out. I don't know what went on with this formula, but let me tell you, it is not it. I can hear people in the house right now. It's kind of making me a little like this. I feel like a broken record at this point that uh, there have been so many noise disturbances and literally it's been, oh my gosh, since July, there have been people in my house like every day. I'm like a distracted animal sometimes. Like if I hear like a clang or something or if I hear something, my head goes, you know, like I'm like, what's going on? Like, is everything okay? Why am I talking so much? Why? Oh, this, shoot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so good. There's cream in here. There is cacao powder. We've got the egg. I put a little maple, a little Redmond salt. If you know, you know. Um, oh my gosh, that's delicious. I am like hyped up now. I'm hyped up for the fails. Okay, I talked about this recently. We won't stay here long. This is the Milani Balm Shell Full Max and 
I looked at the video where I tried this on and you could actually see my lips looked like they were kind of in pain and injured. This is the most hot tamale spicy lip gloss. Is this safe? It just really is irritating. So this is a pass for me. I'm gonna go ahead and say the Grip and Last Putty Primer. I tried this out a solid one time and that was enough for me. Love Catrice, I love them. They They have some of my faves, but this is just too hydrating. I think that if it was marketed more like the Tatcha primer, that's what it reminds me of actually, but it's not a gripping putty primer in my opinion, so that's why I popped it in the bag. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe all over the face, it would be more moisturizing, and then you could go in with a pore filling primer, but I'll show you as I massage. Oh no, this is gonna be a disaster video. Why did I just chug that? Literally, I'm my eyes twitching. I'm so sensitive to everything right now, including caffeine. And literally when I was making this, I put cold brew in the blender and it was just like a small little dash. Like it wasn't even a ton, but I am like, Ooh, this is gonna be a video. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, get out of here. What even is this? My bread and butter, bread and, and butter bronzer. Like, do we want that? Do we want bread and butter bronzer? Like, are we are we waiting for our entree? Like, what even is this? The weirdest name. It smells like a sweet baguette. It's just not good. You know, I love the butter bronzer. And then I think that Physicians Formula, as any company would, they had such a smash hit with that that they're like, let's riff on this idea as far and wide as we can. And it, nothing really has compared to their OG. So the butter bronzer, hands down, smash hit, best bronzer from them. But this is just like puffy, fluffy, will get everywhere. And it's just kind of strange. Oh, this was one that like turned its back on me. This concealer right here, KVD. What does this even stand for anymore? It's like vegan beauty. Like they renamed it to save the day, I think. I don't know. Formerly Kat Von D. Anybody see her recent posts? I had a similar thing where I legit threw out every tarot, spiritual, crystal, like I went full clean house. I still owe you guys an update at some point in time as to my like rocky spiritual past and where I'm at now. And now like I look at all these spiritual tools and I'm like, hey, uh, newsflash, and you can actually just go direct to God. To bring up Kat Von D, even though this is not Kat Von D, uh, she recently like made a post that she was just cleaning house, didn't want anything to do with certain imagery anymore. And I applaud that. I think it's really cool. Also to dab in before I ever like talk about more spiritual personal things, because I think we all have our own walk to figure out. And I never want to be that person to be like, I'm right, you're wrong. And everything that I feel is right. And you're like, that's not, that's not it. But I did go through a tumble where I experienced so much supernaturally that I was just like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm tapping out, like I don't I don't need it, I don't want it, goodbye. And that's just something I did for me. And then life got significantly better. So it was a good thing for me. Uh, anyway, this is a terrible concealer. At first I was like, it is shape tape double time. It is so good. This is, wow, okay, they are not playing, whoa. This is out shaping shape tape. It creased so bad, like, it was good half the day. And then all of a sudden it went like, and I looked in the mirror and I'm like, oh, I look 85. I just don't want that. So goodbye. Um, and then we have Kosas. There's nothing terribly wrong with this. There's just nothing terribly right either. You smell nice. Uh, the packaging is really cute. I just think for the price, it is so slimy. Like it just wants to like get everywhere and it doesn't have enough thickness. Like I need a little more gel, a little more stickiness for a balm to feel like it's going to stay put. This kind of just, eh, just kind of wants to like sweat off the lips or something. I don't know. I just wasn't into it. Yo, this surprised me. Paid a lot of money for this. This is by Rito. I, I keep calling this brand name Burrito and it's really rude of me. I understand. Um, but you know how you say something one way once and then it sticks? That is my brain. I'm not very high fashion in this moment. Beretto. Anyway, this is a volumizing mascara. Burned. Oh, it burned. 
it flaked. It didn't build. I like the packaging. The packaging is like weird and kind of interesting. I don't know. Do we like this? It's kind of strange. Their eyeshadows are bomb.com though. They have a palette that is way overpriced. I was gonna do a full video on them, but then I realized I can't even say the brand name. So like maybe that's not a good idea. Um, but jokes aside, I never filmed that because I felt like the pricing was so outrageous. And I just feel like those kind of WTF-esque videos are a little bit abrasive right now, especially with the state of the world. And it's like, hey, uh, are we we passed that era of like $150 palettes because that is ridiculous. So I just pulled the brakes on that, but I will say for those of you out there that are still in a good like luxury hunt and you find the value in buying that special palette, they have some incredible eyeshadows, smooth, buttery, long wearing, just gorgeous. Okay, we have the Hello Good Stuff face primer with carrying hemp seed oil, you're out. Um, this just didn't do it. The Glow Jelly from Pacifica, yo, does this even do anything? It really doesn't other than ruin your makeup and make your foundation crunch. Um, did not do it for me. Milani, I'm so sorry to like double smack you in this video. The highly rated anti-gravity mascara, that's a big claim. Like that, that's like a big name. Like you think something incredible is gonna come from this and it just doesn't. What else do we have in here? Another mascara, can we see that I am still that woman that is on the hunt, on the mission, trying to find the world's greatest mascara so I can talk about anything other than Lash Paradise, which is what I'm wearing today. Also with my Kiss drugstore lashes that are doing a pretty dang good job. Urban Decay makes some great makeup. I'm actually wearing Urban Cowboy underneath my eyes. This mascara was not it. Again, I just want more and this just did not perform. It did not thicken. It was not wild as it claims to be. When something says wild lash and it's packaged in this way, I expect like a bam lashes and this just didn't do it. The Milk Makeup Bionic Glow. You guys, I bought this and I got the wrong shade if we remember that video and I kind of wanted to use this as like a body bronze situation. This does not really have much of a glimmery sheen to it. It's just kind of like tinted moisturizer plus, and I don't really understand this product. Gross, I'm just, heads up, I'm getting rid of this one from the Game Up collection. If you guys watched, why would anyone ever make a yellow lip balm? gloss just doesn't even look right at all in any capacity. I'm gonna go ahead and say it looks like someone sneezed on my hand. Also, I will say from the Game Up collection, I didn't get to mention to you guys this one. They have this little eye thing. It gets crusty really, really quickly with the three little balls right on the top. It has like a sticky tacky consistency for an under eye cream and it's going in the trash. Um, Glitter Cream Eyeshadow from Ulta. For some reason, when you get it on the eye, it flakes off immediately. There are better options at the drugstore if you want that glitter top coat kind of a thing. That was just really not a good day of makeup. Um, nor was this, the Love Swipe from Kaja. These were terrible. And you get such little product that I just have to tell you guys, do not be like pulled in by the packaging the way that I was with these. It's not worth it. If you're looking for this kind of a product, get a full tube. The normal applicator is gonna be so much better. Are these more convenient to just like throw in the purse and whatever, yeah. But the consistency, the wear time, the lay down, the whole thing just did not impress me at all. Packaging is super cute, but that's kind of where it ends. Pacifica has the world's tiniest, littlest liner, which you would think would be good for getting in here, but this puppy wants to bleed and uh, I don't have time for that. So especially with the inner corner, which is why I purchased it, because I love to really go in right in this region here and make sure everything is perfected, especially on a lash day. Um, but what I have found is a better way to go is to take an angled brush Go in black shadow, make sure you're really whapping off the excess 
and then just kind of really gently deepen that inner corner up. That way you don't have any emollients, waxes, liquids kind of moving around. So that is out. Another mascara that's out and another mascara that's out. The Lawless One and Done just clumps all your lashes together. And then the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Lash Boosting Mascara. This is not like the OG green tube. I kind of thought it might be. I was curious to visit that again and it just did not go well. Oh, this was a disaster. I had so many mascaras, right? This one from the e.l.f. video, I was so super shocked about because I love the original, like the purple tube works so well. Has anyone else had this issue where the waterproof one literally makes it look like you have three lashes? I feel like nothing is getting on my lashes. What is up with that? Okay, um, I need a different mascara. It like actually clung all my lashes together and I was like, wait, I know I don't have the greatest lashes, but my lashes are better than that. Like what is going on? All right, so let's talk about wanting a refund. This is just like not worth it in any capacity. I have spent so much money on Tom Ford products. I'm thinking about it right now. I'm like, wow, did I really do that? Because these quads are so expensive. They're beautiful. And the only way I think I would recommend investing in these is if you consistently go for the same look every day, you are like zeroed in on your everyday makeup routine and you want something high performance, high quality that you can count on to get the job done every single time, look the same. These are great if you find the right quad for you. The mats are beautiful. They have some beautiful toppers in there. This is just straight metallic and this was from a newer collection. And it's just like, I mean, I could go to the drugstore and get that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's pretty. Is it worth all of my money? No, it's just not. So that was a huge disappointment. Sometimes with Tom Ford, you buy it, you put it on and you're like, oh my gosh, this is why I spent the money. This looks so good. I feel so good. Uh, this was not that experience. Also super funny that this matte bronzer duo from LA Girl, I've tried it a few different ways now and it is just blotchy splotchy, but the other ones are not, which is super strange. Um, Gwen Stefani's shadows. This is hard for me. I don't like, uh, I always feel uncomfortable like talking about celebrity brands because there are fans of the celebrity and then they get really upset and I don't wanna upset you guys, but this was like not it. And the whole thing like falls out super easy, which is like weird to me. It's not cheap, but the packaging feels a little bit cheap and the performance of the shadows, even the colors, they don't translate. They translate kind of muddy and they don't perform well or last well on the eye. So this was a big dud. And then, oh, Grown Alchemist. This is when I was literally going through this phase where I was like, I'm never wearing makeup again and I'm only gonna wear non-toxic everything. Because let me tell you, there was a time when I was off of YouTube where I went full like non-toxic freak. Okay, we haven't discussed this because I don't wanna get in a debate, um, but I am pretty well educated about the makeup industry, skincare industry, just many different industries and what they actually put in their formulations. And now it's hard to zero in on and I've been in labs, I've heard the discussions, the reasonings, and you do need preservation and product, but there are ingredients that are put in and you don't really know what percentage. It's like, well, at this weight, it's fine. It's not toxic at all. But when you compound how many items you're using every single day on your face, on your nails, on your skin, in your hair, all the fragrance and all the stuff, it adds up. But I'm not at the point where I'm like, everything goes and I'm just, I'm gonna just wear berries on my cheek. Long story short, when I was in that phase of my life, I spent a lot of money on this lip balm. And you know what? It's garbage. It does nothing. It's like the worst chapstick ever. And I know that a lot of people love Grown Alchemist and they have a lot of great products, skincare products. I would like to explore more of their line, but like I tried to love it. Like I was so devoted to this like lifestyle idea that I like was forcing myself to try and love this. And I actually just hate it. Uh, this is terrible. Makeup by Mario, come on now. Uh, this just did not blend. The brush is kind of awful. And it's just, I'm done. Oh, I recently had an issue with these, okay? This is from LA Girl. This is the Matte Flat Velvet Lipstick. Just be warned when you go into the drugstore and you're like, oh my gosh, a baby pink. Uh, it does not necessarily match what you actually are going to purchase and take home. 
So there you have that. I think we're gonna stop there. This is turning into a very chatty fails video where I'm just like, hey guys, let's talk about fails items and let me tell you about my life also. So I hope this was helpful in your purchasing decision making. And if it was, please give the video a thumbs up. Leave me comments below. Go have a beautiful day, whatever you are doing. I love just kind of chatting with you all and not always putting the makeup on. A little bit of makeup dish, a little bit of story time if you're into that. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell as well. I am here two days a week now. We're mixing the content up. I have new exciting projects and things on the way. So stay tuned for that. And I love you all so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.